Good morning. Uh, welcome to History 2111 U.S. History 1 for summer semester. I am Mr. Kennedy and this video is just going to be a little introduction to what to expect and I want to show you what Blackboard looks like and what you're going to be doing. So you should be able to see this is our Blackboard class here and on the left hand side you'll see homepage, announcement, student center, syllabus, calendar, so on and so on. So this is where our class is going to live. And I want to start by showing you the lessons folders so you have an idea of where all your work is going to exist. And then we'll move into the syllabus so you can see what the expectations are. If you click lessons, it might look a little different, but you should see mostly the same things. Um, Within lessons, you're going to see a lot of different folders. Uh, the first one that I really want you to pay attention to is this one here that says the American Yop Open U.S. History Textbook. This is the textbook for the course. And it is a free textbook. You don't have to pay for anything. And if you click this link, it opens up a very textbook looking textbook. And each one of these links is a clickable chapter for you. Next thing I want you to see, reflection paper drop boxes. There are three assignments known as reflection papers that you will turn in right here. Now I know the word paper usually is a scary thing, but I guarantee you these are not scary. These are small. They're a page and a half to two pages long. They are opinion based papers and they're going to be over some of the readings that you're going to be asked to do this semester. So don't worry, they're not going to be difficult. They're not high stress. But within this right here, you will see your different drop boxes open and close. Right now, you only have one drop box open. That is reflection paper one. And that's simply so you don't accidentally turn in your assignment to the wrong place. This is another drop box for a museum review. I will ask you to go to one museum sometime between now and the end of the semester and you will turn in your museum review right here. And then each week we have a folder week one, week two, week three. This is week one. So within week one, you have two different lesson folders and within the lesson folder, you find a chapter of the book. This leads specifically to chapter one. Some terms you should know from the book that you sh might be quizzed or tested on. There's a student introduction this week. You have to tell us about yourself. So you're going to be asked to give us some of your hobbies, uh, what you like to do or don't like to do, and what you expect to learn out of this class. And then you have a PowerPoint file and you have the lecture that I've recorded for you. So this is lecture one. You can view it on YouTube if you're a YouTube user or if you want to just like save a link on your phone or I have actually uploaded the video here for you as well that you could download to your computer. In the readings folder, each week there are going to be some readings for you to do and each of these readings is based on a primary source topic or document or something like that. So for lesson one, there are a total of four things that you need to read and each one is about a different subject. Then you've got your discussion. I'm sorry, your videos. The videos are optional. If you're somebody who needs the extra time or if you're a very visual learner, I have a video or two in each of the lectures for you to look at and once again completely optional not required to do but this is something that will help you. Then you've got your discussion. Your discussion questions looks like two people have already done them. They're based off of the different readings. So example read the native dogs argument. What do you think is the importance of American dog breeds. So each week you're going to have questions like this to answer. 
Uh, you do have to respond to at least two of your classmates simply because we don't have any face-to-face -face time. So I'll ask you to go ahead and, and discuss some things with your classmates. Don't be afraid to write more than just, yes, I agree. Treat these discussions as you would a discussion in class face-to-face -face with your friends. The quiz is based off the textbook. So you will read chapter one, you'll watch my lecture video, and then you will answer these 10 questions right here. Each week is going to be set up the same. I'll just show you the lesson two folder as an example. So here at lessons two, you've got the American Yop, the chapter of the book. You have the terms out of the book to know. You've got a copy of the PowerPoint I used in my lecture. You've got my actual lecture right here. There's the YouTube link and then here you can watch it as well. A couple of readings, there are two of them for week two or for lesson two during week one. Videos you can watch if you choose. And then a discussion and a quiz. All right, syllabus. Your course schedule is available right here. So this is everything we're going to be doing this year, or this semester, I should say. So week one started yesterday, the 24th, and it goes until Monday, I'm sorry, Tuesday the 30th. And all of your work for chapters one and two needs to be done by 11.59 p.m. on May 30th. I give you a full seven days to do your work. So your work opens at 12 a.m. on the 30th. It closes 11.59 p.m. on the 30th. I do an entire week of, of work for you like that. Also here you can see what the topics are and it says video will be recorded. Um, I'm going to record videos at 1 or 1.30 p.m. every Wednesday. And if you're somebody who would like to join for that, just send me an email. I'll send you a link to my, my WebEx room and you can watch me do these videos and you might even get a little extra credit for joining. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's not required, but if you do join, I will reward you with a little extra credit. Then in the assignments, you've got all the different work you have to do. So for this week, you've got two discussions, two quizzes. Next week, two discussions, two quizzes. Week three, two discussions, two quizzes, and then one of those reflection papers. So I have it pretty well spelled out and yes it is two lessons per week and that's simply because it's a summer course and we have to do double the work now for the syllabus um, show you a couple of things here first of all my contact information uh, this is a completely online class but i do have an office at the Carrollton campus uh, if you would like to come to the Carrollton campus and see me, you're welcome to. I welcome visitors all the time. Um, you can call me. I do have a phone. Um, or, you know, we can do email, Blackboard message, or we can do a WebEx meeting too. So lots of different ways that you can reach me. Um, ultimately, I'm here for you. So whatever you need from me that's within reason, I can help you with. My specific office hours, um, the office number is 207N, the new Carroll campus on the second floor. Um, I'm here most of the time, but the dedicate office hours I have are Tuesday, 9 a.m. to 11.30, or Thursday, 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Am I available during other times? Absolutely. But those are times that are specifically dedicated. But let's face it, if you need to get a hold of me or if you need to come by, I'll let you in or I'll call you or talk to you, whatever it is. So don't worry about that being specific. What are we covering? Uh, we are covering the US history all the way up until the 
reconstruction period. So we'll be looking at colonization, the development of the British colonies, the American Revolution, the War of 1812, how U.S. relations develop between North and South. Here's a textbook. Here's another way to get to it. So you've got several different ways to get the textbook. Um, other things here. Plagiarism. Let me talk about that for a second. Don't cheat. Uh, we as instructors and professors know if you're cheating. We have ways to find it out. We have tools that are at our um, disposal. Do your own work. I promise you, and you can hold me to this, if you do your own work, and it is the worst work I've ever seen, you will get a better grade than somebody who turns in something that's perfect and plagiarized. Uh, the object of this class is not to make you learn dates, but to teach you to, tr to think critically. Can you put things together? Can you understand how A leads to B? Uh, can you give an opinion on a topic maybe that you're not that interested in? Um, so there's no need to plagiarize in this class, I promise. My grading is not difficult. My, my um, assignments, of course, I made them, but I don't think they're difficult. But just please, I beg you, do your own work. There's how the grades are done. You can see a midterm exam, a final exam, three reflection papers, museum review, activities and participation. Those are going to be your quizzes and any extras we may do. And then the discussion board is going to be, you know, you having discussions in Blackboard with your classmates. Now, speaking of exams, two exams, they are not cumulative. That means that the first half of the class is the first test. The second half of the class is the second test. Um, it's probably going to be multiple choice just because of the style of the class. So you won't have any short essay or anything like that. Uh, maybe just like a short answer or two. For the reflection papers, there are three reflection papers, and each one is going to be an opinion-based paper. So with those primary source documents that you're assigned in the lessons folders, you just have to pick one of those for the first reflection paper. Tell me about the article, what you think, how you feel, why you think I'm making you read it, or why you think it's important, or even why you didn't like it. Whatever your actual real life opinion is, is what I want to read. That's that critical thinking. How do I put my feelings down to paper and make it make sense? The instructions are right there, and I'll go into more detail with them as we get closer. Uh, for the museum exhibit review, students are expected to visit at least one museum. I do have a list of museums here that you can go to. Um, some of them cost a little bit of money, some of them are free, and each one of these is a clickable link. So if you don't know anything about, I'll just pick one, the Chief Van House, if you've never heard of it, if you don't know anything about it, you can click this link and you can decide if it's somewhere you want to go and visit. Uh, some of them are far away. I have a museum or two in here from Savannah. People like to travel to Savannah. Um, you can go there. Some people live in LaGrange. I have a museum for you. Some people you know, live in Waco. I've got a museum for you too. So there are museums all over the place that I have on this list. And um, if you need help choosing one, or if you want to know more about one, send me an email. I'll help you out. Activities and participation. Um, your quizzes that you have to do each week go into here. Um, if I have an extra credit thing, I'll put that here. If you, um, you know, basically it's a catch-all. You know, any any of the activities that we may do will go into there, with one exception, and that's the discussion boards. They have their own section, and the discussion boards are worth a little bit more. They're worth about 12% of your grade. So make sure you do answer those. And remember, don't cheat. Write your own stuff. Uh, don't plagiarize. And make sure you respond to classmates if it asks you to. Finally, extra credit. If you're somebody who likes extra credit, it's real simple for me. You just do an extra museum review, and you submit that extra museum review to me you get two points on your, on your final grade. So um, 
I think that's pretty generous there myself. So um, yeah, this was just a real short introduction. Um, I just expect you and hope that you do your work each week, do your own work each week, and learn something. And you know, if you need help with anything, just send me an email. I'm glad to help you. Um, I'm here to, to teach you, not just grade papers. So, you know, reach out whenever you want to, and I'll be glad, glad to help. All right, that's it. I will see you later, and um, I hope you enjoy the lecture videos. Bye-bye.